I was expecting a good film. I just wasn't expecting it to be this. And this good. Horror and comedy seem like polar opposites, but I've come to the realization that they aren't that different. They both often feature situations, characters, or subject matter that are shocking or unconventional from our own everyday lives. Whilst sometimes being intensely provocative, they also have the potential to say something about our society or human nature that differs in style to other genres. They're entertaining and entice the human imagination, but are also informative or insightful. I say this thinking of writer, director, and actor Jordan Peele. Peele was an actor on sketch comedy shows like Mad TV and Key and Peele, but made his directorial debut in the Academy Award winning horror thriller Get Out, a film which was at first hyped as The Stepford Wives but with race. I dug the heck out of that film. Peele's writing was sharp and human, but also experimental. He created a setup that did reflect on race relations of people in America, and how the monster of racism still festers even in the most unlikely of places in some cases. It tackled a different kind of racism, if you allow me to say, but also told a story about the main character learning something human. I just don't want to spoil it. So I find it funny that I went into Us thinking that the film was going to touch upon the same issues but in a different way, but it really doesn't. Or if it does, it's currently lost on me. The film is still super great. Peel knows how to build up suspense and cinematically plays with his world to make things tense. The family is also something I admire greatly. They legitimately have chemistry and are really, really likable. They have their own quirks that are portrayed for comedy sometimes, but no singular family member feels like one is supposed to be the funny one or one that you should immediately hate. Lupita Nangoyo gives a wonderful performance that I dare not spoil here. Probably one of the better ones in her career, I feel. And dang, Winston Duke is just so dang likable as the dad. Winston Duke might just be one of the better movie dads in recent years. He's a bit of a dork and a little childish, but never goes in the way of, say, Homer Simpson. This is how you write good characters. You flesh them out and give us things to admire and give us things that make them flawed. The comedy is also great. There are lines and little interactions that are funny and give some humanity to the characters, but it never goes to the levels of, like, Evil Dead 2 when it comes to comedy in a horror setting. I think people are going to see this film thinking what I thought, it being Get Out with the same themes but a different horror setup. That's not the case. It's largely about Lupita Nungoyo's story that deals with a traumatic experience in her childhood that encompasses something weird and bigger than herself. It doesn't really deal with the race of the characters all that much, aside from some subtle contrasting elements with a white family and how they are more wealthy than the main one. That's at least how I see it. However, filmmakers can make their characters be whatever they want to make the art that they want to see and share with people. Black people exist. They can be in movies in the same way that white people are. Let anybody of any race grab a weapon and brutally decapitate the villains of horror. I think a lot of people are going to walk out of us more confused than they did at the end of Get Out. I still think you should see it. I don't think you have to 100% understand a film to appreciate it, or think that it's good, or know that it works. Some of the themes and aesthetic choices are lost on me, even though I know that there is a reason as to why they are there. Us continues an impressive body of work by the talented Jordan Peele, and I cannot wait to see what he's going to be a part of next. I'm going to be following this gentleman for quite a long while.